Good morning everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's Rachel Ray here and today we are going to do a little whip and chat but I'm also going to be kidding up my next project and talking about a few things, talking about YouTube, life and all that kind of stuff. So I hope you stick around. Um, if you have any questions or concerns please leave them down in the comment section below and if you like this video or these types of videos please give me a like and I will know that so that I will continue to do them in the future. Um, right, let's go ahead and get into it. So behind me, underneath all of this, is my uh, Ever Moment that I'm working on for a friend. Mm -hmm. And I'll just move this for a second. Sorry for the buzzing. Mm -hmm. Somebody's messaging me. I actually, <laughs> I messaged, uh, I was messaging Becky on Instagram while she was doing her unboxing. I didn't know she was unboxing, but she was like, why does my phone keep going off? Yeah, sorry, Becky. <laughs> um, so this is what I've gotten so far. This is 31, 31 centimeters down. And this is, is it 50, 60, 50, I think, yeah, 50. So 30 by 50 at the moment. And uh, to be honest with you, I've kind of had to force myself to work on it. I think it's going to turn out okay. I'm, I'm telling myself that it's going to turn out okay. Basically what I'm doing is I am going to go to the halfway point because it's kind of a mirror image, basically. And um, I'll put the original image here. This is for my friend. Mm -hmm. um, he's going to frame it and everything. So... Um, you know, well, I have a frame for him. He doesn't know that. He does now. <laughs> um, anyway, um, the problem is that I felt that the brightness was all wrong here. Uh, it's starting to look a little bit better, but it still doesn't really quite look like the picture. I should have known, but look, it is what it is. It's a diamond painting. It's fine. It's grand. Um, it's just not my color palette. You know what I mean? Anyway, right. Okay. Down to the business at hand. Okay. So these, this is from Royal Diamond Painting. It is a picture of my dog Luna and all of the colors actually come in baggies, but I'm not a baggy person. Um, <laughs> apparently Mrs. Crochet and Coffee is a huge baggy person. I didn't know that. Um, but I, I don't like them because there's a lot of static. Oh, static. I'm going to have to pause. Hang on a second. Hello, I'm back. Okay, so that was like maybe a fraction of a second for you. That was like 10 or 15 minutes for me. So basically, yeah, I had to do laundry. I saw these and I was like, oh yeah, the laundry. And I had to put it on the line, put on another load of laundry. Yeah, anyway, um, that's how my brain works. So I have some dryer sheets. They smell very strong at the moment. Maybe if I set them in the sunshine off camera and just let that kind of, it'll make my, my room smell nice. There's a few things that we have to do. So those have to be cut into little squares and those squares are going to go into the Darice containers, which I'm going to use for this project. They were kindly given to me by a subscriber. And if you want to check that out, I have a whole playlist of friend mail, but, um, I, I'm super excited to use these. I've always wanted to try to use these in a project. So that's what I'm going to do uh, for the one of Luna, which yay, I'm so excited. So as I was saying, like, I don't, I don't like to use these because they create static. So I specifically picked up dryer sheets so that we wouldn't have a problem. Uh, what I think we should do first is make the labels and label the containers. Um, and like, I haven't really been paying that much attention to the other YouTubers who use these as to how many fit into what size, but I think the most that I have is 310, and there are a total of 58 um, colors. So 310 and 3865, black and white are the big ones. And even then, I don't think I will need any more than maybe this one. Just looking at it and guessing. So I'm going to be using mostly the small containers for this project. So let me take out this lid. Okay. 
And I have a special, special thing for the end of the video as well. So stay tuned. Um, yes, so what I was planning on doing was cutting this so that the symbol and DMC color, color, uh-huh, uh mm -hmm, words, I need more coffee. The symbol and the DMC codes are the things that get put through my sticker maker. If you've never used one of these before, I do have a tutorial on it. Um, it was actually my first time using it. It's super easy to use these things. Um, I'm going to use someone's suggestion and only do small strips at a time so that they don't go all wonky and, uh, and stuff. Right, so let's do that first. Let's uh, just cut up the paper. So how are you today? How are you doing? Um, today is a weird day weather-wise, so I apologize for the insane lighting. It is like really sunny, like right now, and then it goes really, really, really cloudy and almost rainy, but not quite raining yet. So they're having huge thunderstorms over in Dublin, and then it's moving up to the north of the country on the east coast. Which normally in Ireland, the weather on the East Coast is really stable and the weather on the West is totally unstable. Excuse me, I'm going to sneeze and I'm not editing this video. <laughs> Excuse me, you don't have to say bless you in the comments, but you can if you want to. Oh my God. Um, I have taken my allergy medication today, but I'm probably going to sound stuffy anyway because I was sick this week. That was fun. Okay. Um, I am not interested in keeping the rest of this paper. I'm just gonna recycle it. I may keep the picture of Luna though, because it's so cute. I can make that a sticker. Hang on. that too. Don't tell anybody. It, it just fits, I think. I think. I'll try it anyway. Um, yeah, have you seen? Oh my gosh. Okay, so I just, I had to stop uh, watching Mrs. Coffee's last video where she is unboxing week three, week four releases, and she gets one of the, the new stickers. <laughs> it's like the asthma never stops in that video. I love it. I can't wait to go back and keep watching this. I'm really sorry though. I've been falling behind, seriously behind on YouTube videos lately. And of course there are cyclists that have just stopped across the road uh, to pump tires or something. And I'm still in my dressing gown. So if Luna starts barking, I will pause the video squirrel. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. Just cutting them into like manageable chunks. I'll try that one as one big one. And then I'll put these two together. Actually, I have an idea. Okay, let's try this. So let's put her in first. Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, I'm a bit of a perfectionist. Actually, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, okay. Oh, hang on. Sorry. Okay, now that they're all gone. <laughs> She's so protective. It's funny. Okay, so I've got that one. See how it's going in? I don't know if you can see that, actually. Okay, so that one's going in. Awesome. Now I'm going to put in this one. I hope this works. It would be awesome if it did. I think it will. Yeah. Sorry if you can't see this. What's next? This one. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I should go blow my nose. Yay, this is so cool. Because I really don't want to waste 
the paper. That's what I was worried about, wasting the sticker paper. I guess I shouldn't have to worry really, but... Ooh, hang on. Rub. Just make sure that this all kind of sets down. Because I could see it like not doing what it's supposed to. Oops, I messed up there. Oh well, whatever. Maybe leave a little bit more space between them. Yes, so the weather has been fantastic here, which we are not used to. I mean, Ireland is beautiful anyway, don't get me wrong, but we are used to having a lot, a lot, a lot of rain, and we've just been really pleasantly surprised lately. <laughs> okay. Now I can talk. I don't have to concentrate. So, um, so yeah. Uh, but, but, okay. Not last night, but the night before. So Thursday night. I should have gone to Wolfpack's live because the thing is, like, I went to bed at midnight, I think, or just before midnight my time. Yeah, it was like 1130 or something. And I was like, I'm going to be good. I'm going to go to bed. But, you know, it was so hot. Oh, no. I've made a mistake. It's okay. It'll be fine. I think there's a hair in there as well. Oops. <laughs> um, mind the hair. So learn from me. Um, so yeah, the, the, whatchamacallit, the wind was blowing like crazy two nights ago. And um, I was like, what is happening, you know? So I go to bed and I have all the windows open because it is so muggy and um yeah like I just couldn't I couldn't go to sleep and Luna wouldn't calm down at all so excuse me guys I'm gonna blow my nose real quick okay my bad um yeah so she wouldn't settle at all and I was just like oh my god Luna please you know just let me get some sleep and um she wouldn't. There was nothing that we could do about it. I think that it might. Will it fit in there? No. Okay, so we're going to need two of these. So she's going back and forth and back and forth. And I'm just like, oh my giddy aunt. I can't deal right now with this dog. So, uh... I ended up getting up and like closing most of the most of the windows in the house and it wasn't that bad I mean the wind did pick up but I think I was up for hours um, on and off she was pacing you know and her nails were clacking on the floor <sighs> and I felt so bad for her but at the same time I was just like please <laughs> Go to bed. Um, anyway, I think that's well more than enough um, containers, but I'm just going to put that one down there because I know I have one more after it. Voila. I think that's going to be it. This is going to be so easy. I don't know how long it's going to take us, but I might have to sit down here in a minute just to, you know, give myself a break. I might zoom or bring the camera down so that I don't have to speak loudly either, or I'll just turn up the volume in the program. But anyway, okay, how are we going to, how am I going to do this? So obviously I have to do each individual thingy, but like, I want it to be on the front. Do I bother with the DMC number? I haven't been bothering with the DMC number lately. I don't think I need to, honestly. 
because what I'm doing is like I'm cherry picking for the symbol when I the the one that I'm working on at the moment and even the sorry let me show you the ever moment that I'm working on right now I have them in alphabetical order and then I have them in symbol order and it makes sense in my brain um, I'm not a math person I'm not a number person I do like knowing what DMC they are for when I kit down but if they have these bags I'm just gonna put the leftover drills in these bags so like there's really no need for me to have the DMC number right I just answered my own question well done Rachel <laughs> um, so yeah it might be but it might be helpful at the beginning Let's put these in number order. Okay. Hang on a second. I'll be right back. Right. Okay. You can't see it. Um, I've got them all in DMC order up there. So we're going to go in DMC order and then I'm going to rearrange it. I think I saw um, Ramblin' Rose in Diamond Painting. If you haven't checked her out, uh, she's really good. I love her channel. Um, she does this all the time. And now I understand why in the long run it saves me a lot of time. So we're going to not put the DMC number on the containers. I'm just going to go 1 to 10. And then at the end, I'm going to rearrange by symbol. Yeah. So, right. Um, what was I talking about? Luna being extra the other night, I think. <laughs> um, yeah, it was just a bit on the crazy side for me. And... Um, I love my dog, I really do, but I think that she she's neurotic, <laughs> you know? Um, I don't even know how to, to explain it. She just can't calm down sometimes. And I guess we can all kind of understand that, right? Um, this is gonna take forever. I need to actually score them. But is that how I wanna do it? Yeah, because I'm right-handed. I won't touch the label. Okay, perfect. One second. Okay, here we go. Pull up a chair, folks. This is going to take a while. <sighs> okay. I even have a tag if if it takes too long. Um, so, yeah, she's just a bit crazy. And um, I need to use this to cut on. Yeah, I have a... Thing with my name on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't remember who gave that to me actually, but thank you whoever did that. Oh no, I think it was my friend Sarah actually who gave that to me. I don't know if she watches my YouTube. Hi Sarah! Um, so yeah, we, she just kept me up all night and of course, you know, James doesn't have the brain that like where he wakes up in the middle of the night due to these things no he doesn't have that problem it's just me i'm a very light sleeper and so i'm the one that always gets woken up by the little clicky clack of luna claws <laughs> but um i've tried to cut her claws a little bit and she does not appreciate me doing that okay 310 is way down in the list I should probably put this the right way so it's one two three four five six seven the eighth four, five six seven eight I'm glad I checked that I don't know why I thought it was three it's definitely not um so yeah um but other than that, she's good. Um, a few people have been saying, you know, noticing her limp and she heard her name. <laughs> Hi. What's up? Two seconds. Okay. This is kind of the way. Hi, baby. I don't know if you can see her, but... <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna do a diamond painting with you next. Yeah, good girl. All right, go lay down. Come on. You so extra. What's in your eye? 
All right, I'm trying to talk to people. Yeah, that came off your face, that's why. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so yeah, she she's just very restless when it comes to storms and stuff, um, which I'm sure most dogs are. Um, but, or maybe not most dogs, but a lot of dogs tend to be afraid. And, um, so that kept me up all night. So Fridays at the school are always really, really busy. And so we, I just didn't get enough sleep. You know what I mean? I really didn't get enough sleep. And I had a difficult day because not only did I have the teaching segment, but then I had to go to my other job as well. So it just made it an incredibly long um, day where I was tired. I was there until 10 o'clock when I went to go home. Um, James also works, um, my husband also works where I work, but in a different position. So he was working the bar and he was going to be there until 11. And I was like, would you like me to stay here and wait for you? Or would you like me to go home and you can find your own way because I'm not going to drive all the way back in to get you. <laughs> I love you, but no. And um, <clears throat> he said, oh, uh, I was hoping that you would, that I could cycle home. Long story, long story. We left our bikes at his parents' place. So uh, he was going to cycle his bike home. And I was like, okay. But then he was like, I want to go out for a few pints. So can you bring me some clothes? And I was like, okay. <laughs> so I had to go home, grab the stuff, come back. And then, and then I went home. And I was so happy <laughs> to be home. I, what did I do last night? By the time I came home last night, I so tired like normally you know it's Friday night you're like yeah party um, but I just couldn't uh, I had a beer and I went to bed I flopped onto my bed I was watching Becky's madness for diamond painting I was watching a few of her unboxings and then I just zonked then uh, I got woken up and this is this is only half 12 in the morning I got woken up by a phone call so really good news uh, my grandfather's my grandfather has lung cancer and he's had lung cancer for years like I think it's been since 20. 2011 maybe something like that a long time anyway and um, he has been on this clinical trial of a new drug and sorry Luna's trying to get out of the room now you're fine go lay down go grand if I let you out you're gonna want back in um, when what was I saying Oh yeah, so he's on a clinical drug because he cannot do radiation any longer due to, you know, basically overusing it, I guess. And um, he only has, you know, one and a half lungs. <laughs> so yeah, I'm making light of it because I've had to deal with it for a long time. Anyway, um... He started this clinical trial a few months ago and I got a phone call in the middle of the night to say that the results, the CT scan and the ECG came back and the cancer seems to be either stabilizing or shrinking or both or something. Um, I'm going to have to call them back because today because I just... I was not awake and um it's really good news it's such great news even if even if it's only stabilizing and it's not shrinking 
it means it will worsen. You know what I mean? Like, it's not remission. Remission is where the cancer goes away and there's a very high risk that it will come back. And it always has come back for him. So, yeah, we're over the moon about that. I hope I got enough strips. The smell off of these is actually overpowering. <laughs> but anyway, really good news. Late last night. Did not know where I was or what was happening. But now how does this work? <laughs> how do you... Aha! Okay, so it's on the side. Does it hinge? I feel like I'm breaking it. <gasps> okay. Okay, so it just, it feels like you're breaking it when you first open it, but you're not. You're just bending it. Okay. <gasps> Crazy. All right. Uh, hmm. Oh, that's a little big. Oopsie. Okay, so I've got the, can you see that? I've got the thingy in there, and I'm just gonna slide these in. Oh my god, yay, first one. Look at how they're sticking to the bag though. All right, I'm not left-handed. Why did I do that? <sighs> I could see this taking a long time. So if I don't get it done, uh, and I run out of things that I need to say or want to say, then I will come back because I don't want you to have to, I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, let me know if you like long videos. There's only a few people that have commented and said that they would prefer if I did shorter videos. I do have short videos, but kidding up or kidding down is probably one of the things that takes the longest in diamond painting, in my opinion. So yeah one six hey i hope there's no mistake <laughs> in putting the numbers in order for this painting because i'm not gonna know <laughs> all right see this i feel like this takes a lot of mental capacity okay i'm gonna attempt to to carry on but first coffee Okay, let's start at the beginning. So I think I uploaded my last whip and chat on Sunday of last week, but I filmed that whip and chat on Tuesday, Wednesday. I believe it was Tuesday. Oh my God, the static, <laughs> it's unreal. Um, the response? from you all was amazing first of all thank you so much like I didn't I was really really nervous to to share all of that because I felt that it was oversharing a little bit um and it's kind of scary <laughs> like I'm sure I'm not the only person who feels that sharing stuff like that on the internet can be a little cringy can be in in the fact that like if you do it over often then people start to doubt you and you know that kind of thing I'm sure that people who have chronic illness mental health problems and so on really understand that um, and that's not really what the focus of my channel is. So it was just, I was just kind of feeling, well, anxious, obviously, but also just kind of like, should I be putting this out there? And the response that I got told me that, yes, I absolutely should bring that to people's minds and tell them, you know, that it's, it's okay. It happens to everybody. So thank you all for being so kind with your responses and everything. I do really, really appreciate it. And reading them 
There were times where I actually cried. Um, and at the beginning, I was answering everyone's, everyone's comments because it is important to me. I do feel very strongly about it. And I want you to know that I'm here for you. But it started to get a little overwhelming. And I hope that people aren't going to be offended if I don't respond to every single comment. There were so many of them as well, which I am very grateful for. So thank you all very much. I, yeah, just gobsmacked. Look, that one just jumped straight out of the bag. So this is really hard. <laughs> we'll do a few anyway. Okay, so um, that was Tuesday of last week that I filmed that. And then I think I played some Sims as well. And I got an order from Moon Crescent. So that's a video that's going to come up soon. Um, I like playing The Sims. I understand that it's not everybody's cup of tea and I'm certainly not a gaming channel. <laughs> But if you, if you like to watch them, then I will continue to make them. Um, they mightn't be as frequent on my channel this summer because I'm just, I'm really busy right now. And I don't, I don't want to be like, oh, I'm so busy. But um, yeah, I kind of, I kind of am. Um, and I feel a little disconnected at the moment because um, diamond painting for me is is a winter hobby. Now I've been doing pretty good so far this summer, but here in another week or two, it's going to drop. It's going to drop and you're going to notice it. Oh, it's going to drop just like that drill did. You're going to notice that I'm not posting as much and I do apologize, but I have I have work in school and all that and most of you are very understanding but I think I'm worried <laughs> I'm just a little worried because I feel like people are gonna leave or they're gonna unsubscribe because I'm not putting out content but well, between the two jobs at the moment and it being summer um, we only get good weather for two months of the year really you know, like weather where you can go out and stay outside. Like, for example, this morning, okay, I am still in my pajamas because the weather changed drastically in two weeks. It went from being 50, 55, 59 degrees for like three months to all of a sudden being like 70. So we had a huge, a huge temperature increase. Now it's getting, we're having like a heat wave and I use air quotes because heat wave is relative, right? It's a, it's a heat wave for Ireland because Ireland rarely gets these temperatures. Um, that is such a pretty color. So yeah, it's, it's a heat wave. <laughs> and so we we're really enjoying it and you know the thing is about it is we want to go out and we want to enjoy that my husband you know we we want to go do things and working around not only my schedule for the gym where i still work but only part time and the school where I work full time and most of the like most of the job is actually outside of the school hours. It's just hard to find a good balance. And not only that, but now I am on my little happy pills. So I'm dealing with a lot of things that are coming with that, too. And so it's all it's all kind of, you know. Oh, who was I watching? Um, oh my gosh, somebody was talking. I'm sorry, I'm really trying to think hard right now because I was watching somebody talk about cognitive behavioral therapy techniques. Who was it? And it was such a good video. 
If you know who I'm talking about, please leave that channel name down in the comments below. She's also a diamond painter. And I was sucked into that video so hard. Who was it? Oh, shoot. Anyway, there are a lot of people, I've realized, who are out here and they are, ooh, almost the wrong order. <laughs> they are doing great things. They're talking about really good ideas and their experiences. And so opening up and talking about that really does help. That was a huge squirrel, uh, but I hope you followed me on that. <laughs> I hope you, I hope you understand why I came full circle with that. Um, so yeah, working at the school has been amazing, but challenging because I'm teaching teenagers, young teenagers. I find are really challenging because they're coming into their own. They don't. They're still kind of kids, uh, and they have. They still have childish levels of maturity but they want so badly to be independent and you know they want to be right they they need that validation that they are their own people but at the same time you can't give them f as much freedom now in in Europe I've noticed teenagers mature a lot quicker than teenagers in the States. And I mean that with obviously the most respect to everyone, but um, because I feel that in, in my experience, oh God, did you see that? <laughs> They're actually just jumping out of the containers. Um, yeah, that Americans, American teenagers, they are a little more immature for longer. So there is that. Now I'm going to have to pause because my husband went out to get food for breakfast. And I'm going to hang out with him for a few minutes So and charge my phone. So I'll be back and we'll continue this. And hopefully I'll be able to pick up where I left off. Okay, see you in a few minutes. Hi, welcome back everybody. Sorry about that. Um, so basically what happened was, <laughs> you can see all of my labels are done. We have a new camera angle. Um, it's been like, it's been hours. It's been probably a good six hours. Yeah, since I last talked to you. So um, my husband woke up and then he decided that he wanted to make breakfast. And of course, I'm not going to say no. Um, so he went out and got the stuff for it and that's where I ended the video when he came back. So, uh, we had our, a nice breakfast, uh, and then we kind of lounged around for a bit because, you know, when you've had a really big breakfast, it's just nice to be lazy and lie back in bed. <laughs> um, and then we kind of tottered around the house for a while and um, I took Luna for W-A-L-K-I-E-S. I daren't say the word or else she will go bananas again. Uh, she always does when I say that word. So that's why I have to spell it. I don't know. Do you have an animal that's that does the same? Because yeah. So yeah, I am, um, oh God. So anyway, um, took her there to the park and I took some photos. So if I can, I will add some photos here. Um, but I'm actually really, really, I'm so ready to put up this video. Oh God, it's going everywhere. Okay, I was going to put them all in, but now I'm not. In fact, like they're so bad, the static. This is why I do not like the baggies, okay? I think it's the climate. Um, not everybody has this kind of issue, but I know I do. And I think it's it's definitely got to be where I live. So that's why I'm putting the dryer sheets in, because it should help combat the static 
but who knows? Look, I'm dropping drills like crazy. I know, I know, it's probably killing somebody watching this, but real life people. So anyway, um, I don't remember where I was really. Uh, I know I talked about my grandfather. I'm very excited. Uh, we all are really excited to see that he, that he, it's going down. I mean, well, I mean, I don't want to hold too high of hopes, if that makes sense. I think some of you will know what I mean. Like, you just don't want to get too caught up in it because it might not turn out that way I don't know but I mean that that is that is actual evidence that it's going away or it's stabilizing which is good enough for me um why did I put that over there I'm gonna put these in the pile of I'm done with you go sit over there <laughs> um yeah uh, right, so I, sorry, you're shaking. Oh, goodness. I'm really sorry about that. I don't think anybody's actually watching this video anyway, but um, if you were watching that, if you are watching this, uh, please don't look too hard because there's probably going to be some shaking and there's a whole lot of drills jumping everywhere. Um, so yeah. Oh, and I just finished, I just got out of um, Jen Jen's live. Sorry, Jen Jen, but I had to, I don't think she's going to watch this anyway, but um I had to, I had to go. I just realized that it's like after 10 or after six o'clock in the evening. And I was like, oh my God, I haven't actually done much of anything. And I wanted to get back to filming this, but we were having a great chat in her live. And, um, it's good to hang out with everybody. You know, um, I really miss doing live streams. I do. I really do. It's so nice to like catch up with people in real time because videos like, oh my goodness, seriously? <gasps> Guys, this is insane. I'm glad I'm not starting this right away or else I'd be really annoyed at this. I did put one there at the bottom, but it's like they're just going everywhere. Some people say that you could put, put them in the freezer. I've never tried that before, but... It just seems so weird. I don't think I'm going to be able to kit the entire custom up today because I've only done nine colors. <laughs> and there are, what, 58? Yeah. Um, this is going to take a few days. But I wanted to get started because I am on the last legs of my current whip. So my living room, oh no. Oh, I heard about that problem. <gasps> Oops. There's like a lip. Shoot. Very bad words. They're all sticking my fingers. Stop it. Um, yes, what was I saying? <laughs> and it's also too distracting. I should probably be diamond painting while giving these updates. I'll know better for next time. Uh, yeah, that's okay, isn't it? <gasps> no, it's not. Sorry, you couldn't see what I was doing. Okay, a few fell out, but hey, I'm really not worried about a few. What was I saying? See, what was I saying? What was I saying all the time? Okay, <sighs> try to not say that. The other thing, I think I mentioned that I got sick at the beginning of the week. I went out with my friends on Friday, last Friday, not yesterday, but a week ago. And we were celebrating the summer solstice, which I love to do. Just as kind of like a um, celebration of what has been done so far in the year. I'm not really a spiritual person at all, really, but I do like to mark the year and the time of the year because so often I feel like time is passing by too quickly, especially nowadays. Like I, I feel like it's, it's only been a blink of an eye 
um, since Christmas. <laughs> I know that it, it's it's been the normal amount. There's, you know, no more time of the day, no more time during the day uh, for things to be happening. But for whatever reason, it just feels like time keeps going quicker and quicker every year. And I don't like it. <laughs> so I I try to remember, oh dear, what have I done? I try to remember what has been done through the year by just honoring it. So this is super frustrating, y'all. So yeah, just going out and... Um, celebrating like we me and my friends got together for like a girly night so nothing sinister <laughs> or anything we went to my friend's house for dinner and you know it was all vegetarian and delicious um and it just felt right and we went to the Valencia Cliffs and I put some pictures up on my Instagram if you want to check that out but I just really enjoy spending time with them and because it's kind of the turning point of the year when you know the darkness is going to start coming back to us now and uh, <laughs> That's always kind of sad, but we've we've had a good year so far, so I think that the end of the year will be just as good. Um, just hopefully there's a little bit more healing going on, you know, and that kind of thing. Anyway, I'm not going to sweat about five drills. Put that away. Um, yeah, it's just been, it's been an experience. So anyway, um... What else did I want to talk about? Hang on, it'll come to me. So teaching and solstice. Oh, so yes, so we went out for the solstice and I got sick. I don't know if I got sick because we went to the cliffs and it was a bit windy. It wasn't that bad. But... You know, it wasn't great either. It, it was, it was cold. Um, it was beautiful, but it was cold. And the next day I woke up sneezing my head off. Now, my friend has kids. So, you know, kid germs are a real problem. So it could be that I just got a kid germ and got sick from it. Very possible, super plausible don't hold it against my friend or anything um you know it's not because she's a bad parent it's because kids are kids and kids have things they have germs they don't wash their hands all the time you know um so even though we slept in my friend's room I did get something so I either got it from the outdoors or from from her kid kids um but that's no biggie but it knocked me out for two days, and I'm not the type of person who's sick that long normally, so it was just really threw me out, you know. I had trouble teaching, and I don't really think it'll fit in this container. I'm just really conscientious of it now okay I can do this I can do this I can do this um so yeah uh so basically what that meant was sorry I know I know I'm a bit like squirrely today um I hate getting interrupted in the middle of a video because I feel like there's no cohesion so like there's a part of me on the inside right now that's fighting myself it's like why don't you just start over <laughs> Uh, yeah. because then it really wouldn't be any cohesion there wouldn't be any cohesion at all and now I'm tongue tied uh yeah so anyway 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 
I had to start a whole new cycle with students, new students on Monday. So we had to do level testing and getting to know yous and, you know, tell me about yourself and let's go around the school and figure stuff out, right? But I just wasn't in the mood. Like I was not in the right form for this at all. So, but I don't know. I don't know what it is. Yeah, this is really pissing me off. Like, I'm really sorry. I'm sorry. Um, this is, it's really, it's really actually getting on my nerves to the point where I don't want to do it. I can push through. I can do this. I can, I've got this. But the static is just unbelievable. And I don't want to waste your time. Like, I think you've been with me for like almost an hour now. And it's still really bad. <laughs> And I don't know what I can do about it right this second. You know what I mean? But then again, like, no joke, guys. Kidding up is actually my least favorite part of diamond painting aside from kidding down. Like, I know that I could just... And fuck it. Like, if they fall, they fall. Excuse my language. Great. I'm going to have to bleep myself 13, 14 minutes in. Um... Yeah, it's just, it's, this is one of the, my least favorite parts. <laughs> and you're going to be like, but Rachel, you could have used the Ziploc baggies. Do you see this? No, no. It's the humidity. I should have waited until the humidity was zero and then done this. Ah. I need one of those little desk back things. That would have been super handy. You know what I can do, actually? Hang on. Don't fall over. <laughs> Whatever you do, do not spill into the tray. All right. There's going to be a stowaway there. I'm going to slip this underneath. I wonder if that's actually causing static, the Evermoment canvas. Do you think? It could be, couldn't it? It could be. Well, we're not going to know. All right. And I put this on upside down anyway. So good. We get to flip it over. Right. Okay. You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to. Well, no. Hang on. I got to make space for it. So move that one. That one, that one, this one, Whew, okay, yeah, that, <laughs> that makes me nervous, all right, they're still in order, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, does this one fit back in here, no, these belong in here. Okay. I may have to do that again. Okay. I am now hyper aware of how long this is going to take me. And so I'm just going to do one more and then wrap this up because I don't want to keep you here all day. And also, I just, I feel like... <laughs> This could literally take forever. So, yes, I had a cold. I'm feeling a bit better, but I have been sneezing a whole lot. The flowers in the garden are blooming again. It's like, you know, the second bloom. I don't know if there's actually a term for that in gardening. There might be. Because it's like, you know, the first bloom is when all the trees uh, start making leaves and the, le the leaves come out on the trees and they release all that yellow pollen, right? 
that that actually turns me comatose. And then after the greening, uh, you have the second bloom, which is all of the flowers. And, and it's not just flowers. The flowers are fine. Flowers don't bother me at all. It's the grass. So the grass begins to self-seed. So you get all of those um, annoying uh, heads. It looks like, you know, wheat. And once those start releasing seeds, I just, again, I sneeze everywhere. And uh, yeah, look at this, look at this. Oh my God, how do I make this better? Like, they're just gonna go everywhere, watch. Come on. But anyway, I mean, I do have my health at least, you know, I might, I might be allergic <laughs> to nature, but at least I'm, I'm healthy. And you know, for several years there back in, I don't know, 2011 to 2000 and well, since till, I don't know, 14, uh, I think, yeah, three solid years at least. I was just in a perpetual state of bronchitis or sinusitis. So I'm glad I don't have that problem anymore. That was difficult. I really hope that these clean sheets actually work. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, 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 wait. Stick them back in. Okay. Because, yeah, the thing, the thing to remember is that this, the distance between, the distance between the, the holder or the, the pinchy bit is like zero. And you need to make sure that there aren't any diamonds there. So, like, the container is only half full, but it is difficult to get the diamonds in there in the first place. So, I do recommend using one of these. Right, guys. Um, so that's it. Thank you all so much for your kind comments and everything. I really appreciate that. Um, I hit 3,000 subscribers a few days ago. And wow. <laughs> um, it's a dream come true. I actually, honestly, I didn't believe that I would get to 3,000 subscribers. So I'm really happy that there are so many people that want to watch me and my crafting. Um, I'm overwhelmed by it sometimes. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. But I'm glad you're here. And I'm glad that you're watching. I really did appreciate those comments on my last whip and chat. It means the world to me that so many of you care. And when sometimes it feels like I have nobody to talk to and that I, f I feel like I'm kind of alone. Um, now I know that I'm not and that people genuinely want to look out for me. So thank you all. Thanks to everybody for all of the messages and everything that you've sent me. Um, I will, I will get better and I will try to continue to speak about these things, mental health awareness and everything in public. Um, because I am, I'm, tr I'm finding it difficult to come to grips with this, but I have a voice and people are listening and I want to use it for the right thing. So thank you for helping me with this decision and backing me up and being there for me. I'm deeply, deeply grateful for that. Um, but as far as YouTube goes and crafting and everything else, please be on the lookout. Um, in the next few weeks, I'm going to gather a few things together 
and have a, a little giveaway as a thank you to everyone who watches. It's going to be open to everybody. There's going to be no contest um, as far as, you know, you have to do this and do that and do this and do that. I just, I don't have the time for that anyway. Um, it's too much work for me. And I hope you can understand that. I do want to make it as fun as possible, but yeah, I I don't want to make you have make you have to do that much work either. So up next in the next few days, I'm going to have another like I I have an unboxing. I'm not sure when it's scheduled, and then I have the framing of two diamond art clubs. And I am really excited to share that with you because this could be transformative. Like for me, I'm really, really crap <laughs> at framing, like honestly, truthfully, really crap at it. So this takes all the headache out of it and makes it really simple. So this may be the way I frame from now on. No joke. So guys, um, the sun is going down a little bit and I'd better let you go. So thank you for staying with me and watching this whip and chat. And I hope that everybody has an amazing week. Have a great weekend. Enjoy the 4th of July. And I hope, well, for, for you in America anyway, <laughs> watch some fireworks for me, will ya? Um... And yeah. Also, sorry, before I forget, um, my Etsy shop, I do have new pens available. I didn't make an announcement on YouTube, and I'm really sorry about that. I do have new pens available there, so please check it out if you're interested in some diamond painting pens. My Etsy shop is rachelraycraft.etsy.com, or you could just find the link in the description of this video. So that's it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a like if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already and ring the bell to be notified whenever I put up a new video. I hope you all have a great week and I will see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye.